This tutorial will show you how to create a dra drag and drop activity that can be useful for preparing students for the park and air assessments. Um, the first thing that you need to do is create a Google Doc. Um, I've created one here and I've called it the drag and drop example. Uh, then the next thing you're, want, you're going to want to do is um, find those things that you'd like students to put in order. Uh, whether those be um, items from an outline, steps in a process, um, anything that students need to drag from one place to another. Um, I am using the steps in the creation of a peanut butter sandwich. Um, I have found these steps on a web page on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You can find these um, steps in any document that you already have. Um, anything that you can take a partial screenshot of will work wonderfully. Um, if you notice, I already have three created here, and each of these are items that can be moved anywhere around the screen. Um, there are two more steps. I'm going to go ahead and bring those in. Um, step four is apply jelly. So I'm going to take a partial screenshot. If you're using a Mac, you're going to use the keys Command Shift 3 to take a partial screenshot. There is a snipping tool on PCs. And since I'm using a Chromebook, I'm going to use Control Shift F5. And you'll get these little crosshairs. And you want to ring out just the part that you'd like to put in your document. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to go back to my document and I'm going to paste it and it'll show up here. Um, to make things a little bit easier, you wanna click on the item and then clip this wrap text um, option. It makes moving this particular item around your page a little bit more simple. Uh, and I have one more step, step number five, which is combine both slices of bread. So I'm going to use my keys again to get this crosshair and I'm going to surround the portion I need and then copy to clipboard. If you're using a Mac or a PC, you don't have to use that um, copy to clipboard step. It does just make things a little bit easier. If you forget to do that uh, on a Chromebook, what will happen is that will save to your files and it'll just appear under the name screenshot. I'm gonna go back to my drag and drop document. And once again, I'm going to paste so that my last step shows up. I'm going to put these into a random order. I'm going to make this combine the first one. I'm also going to click on the wrap text option. The next thing you need to do is create a space for your students to put these items into order. And I found the easiest way to do that is to use the table function. Uh, it's up here in your tools. Click on table an insert table and I want them to have five places, so a one by five column to put their, their options in. And I've created one with many, so I'm going to take that out of there. Um, this is a good place to show you that if you accidentally put something into your document that you don't want up here in the tools of these great um, undo and redo arrows. <clears throat> if you click the redo arrow, it'll take away the last thing you did. And you can actually go back multiple steps. So I'm going to get rid of this table because I didn't want that. Um, you need to make sure that you put your cursor right where you'd like your table to begin. So I'm going to go back up here to table insert table and I want them to have five spaces and you can make columns or rows. I'm just going to make five rows. If you click on it, it will give you this table. Now, if you notice the space here is a little smaller than the space that I actually have for the words. So to fix that, it's very simple. You're going to grab the lines and just expand your workspace a little bit so students have a little bit easier time getting their items into this table. And you can make them any size you'd like. Um, resizing is very easy, just as long as you get it over the line and have this 
two-way arrow. Let's get them a little more of an equal size here. Now, once you have this, you can add in directions for students or give them verbal directions to put each of these steps into the table in the correct order. You may also want to label each of these areas so the students know which order you'd like the steps in. And all the way down to five here. And then at this point, this is ready to send out to your students through either a link or Google Classroom. And as you notice, all they have to do is hover over the step and they can drag it right down into the area that they'd like. And if they need it to go a little further, they just drag it to the bottom of the screen. It pops in and now they have it in the career.